abundance of electricity? Yes! Yes, yes sir. Oh, we use electricity for everything, but the more we generate and consume, the more CO2 we produce, and that pollutes the atmosphere. Great observation. That's why Qatar's National Vision 2030 is focused on sustainable energy. Great. Should we turn off the lights and the AC before we leave? It's important to save electricity. You're right, saving energy helps reduce CO2 and that's better for the environment. You're not paying attention to me. I'm trying to search for ideas for the scientific research project. Oh. Oh, look, a solar panel. Why to worry when this solution is in front of us? Well, that's a solution, but it's windy out here and the weather is cold and the solar panel depends on the sunlight and there's no sunlight. Or we could find another solution. Hey, Zainab, let's check out these scooters. How are they made? I can't see any electric city. Oh, Sarah, they're not made of any electricity. They work with batteries. Oh, interesting. install piezoelectricity inside. Yeah, I heard about piezoelectrical device and if it's installed in these, it converts kinetic energy into electricity and that's good for the environment. Oh, nice. As you can see, the reading on the multimeter is zero. The more I press on the piezoelectric device, the more electricity is generated. Do you think harvesting energy from sources like footsteps is a practical idea in Qatar? My immediate answer is yes, definitely. Of the countries of the world, such as uh, Japan, they have already implemented this in, in the pathways where people usually cross the road or, or you know uh, pass on a sidewalk on the sidewalks. They have implemented. That's a good idea. So, in places where people will definitely walk, like schools, like play. I think it's a very good idea to have a such system of mobility. Not necessarily for a big energy production, but at least a small one that will cut down in overall energy consumption for the system. Would you support the use of uh, piezoelectric technology in Qatar for clean and sustainable energy? Why? Uh, it's a safe technology. It does not require a lot of um, overhead for implementing it. So I think it will be easy, an easy solution. So imagine that you now have these bricks that have these piezoelectric elements inside and, and the whole uh, footpath or the passageway has been made with this, uh, these bricks. So when people walk, it generates, so I, uh, I'm, I'm in, in favor of this, such a technology. Definitely. Do you have any suggestions for improving our project? My advice will be again in two, three different directions. First, from the technology perspective. Um, the piezoelectric technology has improved a lot of economical and and the best output voltage. Do you think using energy from things like footsteps is a good idea for generating electricity? Yes, it's my pleasure for the other video. Uh, yeah, piezoelectric is a good idea. It's an innovative idea. Because it contributes to the sustainability. Yes, of course, uh, it will contribute, as I said, uh, to other sustainable energy. Electric. We installed four piezoelectric transducers in the pedestrian path. Whenever I'm going to click this, it's going to generate electricity. So as you can see, it's generating electricity. We are converting kinetic energy into electricity to light up the street lights. We can install more of these in places like Sukhwakif, Doha Cornish, Lucille Cornish, in metro stations and even in schools.
an exciting discovery. Imagine rods that don't just take us to places, but also generate energy. Piezoelectricity is the future. Every step, every movement turning motion into power. Let's drive towards a sustainable future. Innovation today for a greener tomorrow. Qatar's future power is powered by ideas. Thank you.